prepare yourself for the cutest bug you've ever seen. On my routine checkup that I do daily on all of my insects, I wasn't expecting this. Oh my gosh, I didn't expect you to hatch anytime soon. You're so cute. Yes, that's right. One of my eggs that I bought last time hatched. I was very surprised as I've only had stick insects for about a month now and bought the eggs at the same time. Now, just to be safe, I bought a smaller stick insect enclosure to house the little baby, but I noticed a problem. The baby's tiny little egg, which I still don't know how it hatched out of, was stuck to its foot. So me, being me, got paranoid and I did a lot of research. Now, I couldn't record me removing it, but you could just put a little bit of water in the egg and hold it. And most of the time, the foot will be released. Now, let's get it into an enclosure and give it something to eat. Enjoy your new home, little buddy. Oh, here the baby is. Gosh, even as a tiny baby, they're still so good at blending in. Through my observations, I think they try to imitate the veins on a leaf. Later that week, I went to a pet store and found this awesome Goliath stick insect female for sale. So I got her so I could breed her with my males when they all came of age. Except one thing. I didn't really expect her to be this big. The one on top is the larger of my two male Goliaths. Now let's get her out of this cramped container and into my large enclosure. Fun fact, Goliath stick insect females are among the heaviest insects in the world, and this girl is only two sheds away from becoming that beautiful green and gold colour that the adults are. Another baby hatched, and so soon! I've identified the species as a titan stick insect, hence their name, they are one of the longest insects in the world, and Australia's longest insect. Now, let's get this little baby into, into its new enclosure with its friend. Say hello to these new species of stick insect I've just got in. It's been two days since the last clip, and I here have four violet wing stick insect nymphs. Shout out to Jacqueline Imze on Facebook for selling me these awesome and colourful stick insects that I'm just about to show you. Small, I know, but once they grow to adults, they'll have these beautiful purple wings. Here they are. Let's open this box up and get them into the main stick insect enclosure. Also, please note that some of these stick insects have lost limbs, but will regrow them in shed with enough time, care and patience, and are otherwise happy. Anyways, that's the end of the video, but before you click off, I would love if you liked, comment, and subscribe it, and hit that bell to help me and my bugs on the journey to 1000 subscribers. Also, I would love if you checked out the previous video on my stick insects. Hello. Hello. What? Do you want a camera? You want a camera? Yeah. <laughs> you reaching for the camera?